Hello. Hey, Loretta, how are you? Whew, girl, what a day. It has been, I can't even express the kind of day of stress and joy and frustration. Hello, Lucille. Hello, Tristan. Welcome to Nana's Kitchen. So as you all know, doo -doo -doo, I had a three hour test today. I have test anxiety as it is. Hey, Tommy. Um, and so it was stressful anyway, but I was prepared and I was excited. I was ready to roll. The system kept glitching. They lost my test for two hours. I was in a panic that I was gonna have to redo three hours of my life, plus the two hours I had been waiting while they, lost, while they were looking for my test. Oh my gosh. And then, after all that, they did find my test after two hours, but then I just got the results around eight o'clock thanks to a friend, Jennifer Beckett, who knew how to make the system give you an answer because it was not telling me what, what it did, but I've passed, whoop, 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 thank you, Lord Jesus, and all the help and prayers that went out, I appreciate it, thank you. So, my, um, so last, this past week, um, we were home, but the week before, we were on vacation. We got in um, on Sunday of last week, and so we did not go to the grocery store. We had not gone to the grocery store the previous Sunday because we were leaving town, and we always try to um, finish out our kitchen before we leave. But the week before that, that whole week too, I had my daughter and her family here, and so it had been three weeks since I had been to the grocery store, so we were like... Uh, oh, thank you, Pamela. I'm telling you, it, Pam, it was all oh, so stressful. Um, anyway, so we had nothing in our house. And uh, so, um, when, uh, a little while ago, my husband said, can I have some cookies, please? So, I am bringing you cookies. These are called Magic Keto Cookies. I don't know why. It's not my recipe. I've never made them before, but I thought it was interesting. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it together. So I am starting with four egg yolks, just the egg yolks, okay? To that, I'm adding a fourth of a cup of um, coconut oil. Three tablespoons, hello Julie, of um, softened butter. My all of uh, my coconut oil made a mess. Three tablespoons of your choice of of. Um, sweetener, but I like monk fruit. It's golden only because that's what Costco had. There's no real reason why it's golden. Hey! Sharon, how are you? How is everything going? I'm adding a half a teaspoon of salt. Hello, Amanda. Amanda, where are you from? Guys, that just reminds me. It is, um, that is unsalted butter that I just added. Kerrygold unsalted. Um, if you are watching me live, put a one in the comments. If you're watching me on a replay, hashtag a replay. Um, and tell me where you're coming from. Tell me what you did. Hello, Faye. I heard the test was really tough. It is really tough, but I was so prepared, uh, Loretta. Now, so let me tell you, there were lots of glitches. So I was having anxiety. Oh, so I have unbelievable high test anxiety. 
And so um, every time there was a glitch, I was freaking out, okay? But I would work through, I was working through the glitch. I would go through, get another glitch, work through the glitch. And I have a new computer. And no one gave me a heads up that I might need a piece of software other than what's in Google. I had no idea. I thought everything was encompassed in Google. And I got to the very last question and I didn't have the software I needed. So I had to stop the test, download software, and come back and finish the test. It was horribly stressful. But I passed, passed, passed. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Joyce, where are you coming from? All right, so we have had four egg yolks. We are making magic keto, keto cookies. Don't know why it's named that. Found the recipe. Four egg yolks. Um, a quarter a cup of um, coconut oil, three tablespoons of softened butter, three tablespoons of monk fruit, a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to kind of mix this together. Probably should have gotten out the beater, but the hand mixer, but I didn't. So we'll just mix it in while I talk to you. Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris, have you um, put up any jelly yet? I know the peppers and stuff should be coming in. I am making cookies, Joyce. I had a stressful day. We went, we did go grocery shopping, finally. And um, my husband just said, could you please make me cookies? So he actually asked for a different cookie and he'll get it. Um, but I've already made that cookie with you guys. And so I decided to go hunt for a new cookie and then go from there. So, hello Josh, how are you? We're making cookies. And this cookie has no flour, no almond flour, no coconut flour. So I, that's what made it interesting to me. Um, so. All right, guys. I'm gonna. Get out the hand mixer just for a second because that butter, even though it's soft, is not working its way in. So give me a second. Because the last three ingredients just get folded in. So I want to make sure that butter doesn't just sit there. Good. Uh, you, so it does. It didn't want it melted. Um, it wanted it softened. Um, so that's I, since I've never made the recipe before, uh, Shrin. I'm trying to make sure I follow it. Um, next time I'll probably do something different. just get folded in. It's one cup of coconut. Which seems like a lot to me, but luckily my husband loves coconut. Smells good. If you like coconut, one cup of lilies um, three tablespoons of butter, Shrin. Um, one cup of Lily's chocolate. You could use milk chocolate. It, it said, 
um, that they use dark chocolate, so I'm going with dark chocolate. And three quarters a cup of walnuts rough chopped, so I'm going to beat it. Well, you know what? I'm not a huge fan, but he is of coconut. So, okay, rough chopped, three quarters of a cup. Uh, my cousin doesn't like uh, coconut. Hey, Cindy, my cousin doesn't like coconut either, um, Amanda. But my husband does. One of his favorite donuts when we were eating the other lifestyle was the toasted coconut at uh, Dunkin' Donut. So, not that this is a donut and not that the um, it's the same, but it'll, it'll have that coconut flavor in it and he'll like that. Hey, Todd, how are you? I made, uh, or I'm making, key, magic keto cookies. And so, here is the mix, okay? And now it said to put a, it on parchment. And I was going to use my little scoop, but it's kind of thick and... Um, chunky, so I don't think that's going to work. Um, hey, Pat, how are you? And so it says to put them in mounds. I'm going to have to put that down. And so let's see. So I'm going to put it in mounds. It says 12 to 15 cookies. So we'll see if I get that out of it. I will try very hard to get what they tell me and try to keep them about the same size. This is, my oven is heating at uh, 350. And these will bake for 15 minutes, 15 minutes. What did you guys do today? I hope that it wasn't as stressful as those of us who were taking this exam today. And those of you who haven't taken the exam and still have to take the exam, my best recommendation is to go through the modules and then also go through the Google Classroom that our academic coach, Kitty Brown, set up because that was fabulous. I don't know, Amanda. This is my first time making these. Hey, Kim. Uh, hey, Zaina. Uh, Todd, um, not that you would know anymore, but everyone in our county has to be level one Google certified. And I got really excited about it. I've been stressing. And then um, I think I just got where I felt really confident, well, and that, plus Kitty kept telling me I was ready. And um, so I, I got excited and took it. Um, ooh, exercising in the pool, like that. Hey, Kim. Uh, Sharon, I you could use milk chocolate, I would think. Um, I don't know. I mean, again, this isn't my original recipe. This is a recipe that I'm finding that I'm using for the first time. Um, I can't imagine why you couldn't swap out the dark chocolate and the milk chocolate. Or do you not like chocolate at all? And in which case, I, you could maybe swap it out for another nut. But because there's no flour, um, I... Um, don't know like what what's all binding it together other than the egg yolks. 
Um, Joyce, our county is um, go, is trying to make sure that um, teachers continue with their professional development um, and that everybody is Google certified um, so that we have, I'm gonna scoot these in just a little bit, see if I could get another row in. But I don't know how far these spread out. So I'm just gonna give it a shot. We'll see, again, we're just trying this recipe for the first time. And it does look like I could get um, 15 out of it. Cause I've, I'm gonna get 12 for sure. So, hey Ann. Girl, I am keeping you in my thoughts and prayers, and I'm making a mess transferring this over. My chocolate chips keep jumping out. That one needs a little more. This is a cookie. I think these are going to be... They, You know what? They sounded delicious. I think that they are going to be delicious, and um, we will do the a live tasting um, tomorrow morning um, after I teach we will um, at breakfast after breakfast we will come on live and do a tasting sadly I don't think my husband will come on live and do a tasting for you um, getting him to do his story on the on was uh, hard enough so but there we have it and I do have another um, enough for another, probably another two, not three. So that, but I do see that I have a few that are a little bigger than the others, but that's okay. I'm gonna go with it. All right, here you go. Yes, ma'am. I had, um, I'm on year number 29. Um, so yeah. You probably could, Josh, um, replace, the, it has walnuts in it, Josh. Did you see that? Um, and so I'm gonna stick this in the oven. Uh, it's gonna go in 350 for 15 minutes. I'll be right back. I just saw my good friend Pam Brady. We're just making some magic keto cookies. Hello, Angie. All right, 15 minutes in the oven, guys, 350. Oh, I don't really need this great big tray. Let me get another parchment. For my two lonely little cookies, but it'll be all right. So, hey Carla, how are you? So I, um, Sunday is usually my day to do a lot of baking. I bet, hey Lisa, did you finish your walk? Um, and so it's not usual that I bake on Friday night because I am going to get ready to teach a class here in a little bit. Um, so I teach a second job, Joyce. Um, I teach uh, at the school system in Walker County during the day and then I teach on the weekends and um, night times I teach Chinese children, so English. So I do that every night and early Saturdays, um, early Saturday morning, so. And I love it, I love it. Hey, Christine, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while or seen you online in a while. How are you, how's things going for you? I bet you are soaked. It was hot out there. Um, I love staying busy, Joyce. I am one of these people that 
needs to keep doing something. My husband says I don't know how to relax, but I say work is relaxing, so I don't know. Um, all right, guys, that is what I brought to you today. I hope you'll tune back in for the uh, tasting tomorrow morning around uh, 10 o'clock, I guess. Um, after I teach and then we eat, we will. I will get my um, friend um, Alice to come on and I have to think, does she like coconut? Um, she doesn't like chocolate. I don't know if she'll try them with me. You may just get me. Because she's not a chocolate lover. So, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, Carla, we made... Hey, Amanda. We just finished a magic keto cookie. No flour. No almond flour. No coconut flour. And, um, super simple. And they bake at 350 for 15 minutes. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy anything that I uh, that I prepare, please share it out. Um, and if you have any questions, just shoot me a private message. If you want to be part of the group where I place my recipes and you're not already part of the group, I do have to be your friend in order to put you in the group. Um, and uh, just let me know that you want the recipe. And if you're part of the group, it's hashtag Bike Club, and these are Magic Keto Cookies. So, as soon as I get them uploaded, uh, the recipe uploaded, then you will be able to um, see that. All right, Julie, are you with the peeps tonight? Because I've just finished, so nothing funny to laugh at me about. <laughs> Thank you, Joyce, for sharing. I appreciate that. Sharan, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you'll tune in for the um, the tasting, but that might be crazy hours for you. So, all right, guys. Bye.